Metric uses computer vision, tracking your lifts with just your smartphone's camera. Traditionally, tracking lifts like this has been expensive and cumbersome, or worse, inaccurate and unreliable. Metric solves both these problems. It's an easy to use app requiring no additional hardware, and it's been validated against both lab grade 3D motion capture systems and traditional hardware solutions. While capturing these training data is as simple as recording a video, computer vision isn't magic, and there are a few key guidelines that ensure reliable data every time. So let's walk through how to set up your recordings with Metric in four steps. Number one, let's look at how computer vision works. Number two, we'll look at the equipment you'll need that is trackable and works with the Metric algorithm. Then we'll look at framing your video. Then lastly, we'll look at in-app versus imported videos and the differences between them. Computer vision is how computers are able to understand and interpret what is within a video. The algorithms analyze patterns of light, color, and shapes to make sense of what they're looking at and deliver back information from that footage. Most computer vision systems are trained for specific job descriptions, like a QR code scanner is trained to read those square barcodes, or how a social media filter is designed to find your face and modify it for your photo or your content. Metric system has been built from the ground up with a single purpose, to understand exactly how your barbell is moving in real world gym environments. While other barbell tracking apps rely on generic tracking systems that need you to manually select the tracking target or input range of motions, Metric's specialized computer vision system understands what it's looking at and is able to find and track barbells precisely on over 60 barbell exercises from the moment you start recording to your final rep. No need to select the barbell, no marking up range of motions in advance. For Metric to work, it needs a circular weight plate as the tracking target. The one piece of information Metric needs to deliver accurate training data is the diameter of that weight plate. By default, Metric is set to track standard 45 centimeter Olympic weight plates. You can easily customize this as well. Just enter the diameter of your plate in centimeters of the largest plate that will be visible during your set. Now, while Metric can track other movements like chin-ups or jumps, it's really optimized for barbell exercises. So that's where we'll focus in this guide. I'll we'll talk about alternative tracking later. Let's talk about how to frame your shots in Metric. While I'll cover the ideal perfect setup here, Metric has been built to handle real world gym conditions. It's robust enough to work well, even when conditions aren't perfect. There are four key elements to get great framing and get accurate, reliable data. First, you need to film from the side of the lifter and the barbell, but you do have plenty of flexibility here. Anywhere from directly side on, zero degrees to the barbell, up to 25 degrees forwards or backwards will work fine. For positioning your height correctly, aim to match your exercise. Thigh height, waist height is fine for most lifts, while anything overhead, like a snatch or an overhead press, raising the phone up to chest or even shoulder or even higher is recommended. Be sure to keep your full range of motion within the exercise throughout the video, from setup to finish. Too close and you'll cut off the plates and miss parts of your lift. Too far away and the plates become too small in the frame and they become hard to track. If your gym has limited space, you can also pinch on the screen to zoom in or zoom out and find that perfect framing. Metric can handle a wide range of lighting conditions. However, there are two situations to watch for. Very dark plates in a very dark gym, Metric just can't track the exercise if the camera can't see the plates. And the second problem is bright light sources directly behind the lifter interacting with the barbell. The fix to this is just to adjust your device position and film from a slightly different angle. Or ideally even better, if you can film from the other side of the barbell so the light is behind the device, not in the frame, they'll get a much better result. Lastly, you must keep your device still during recording. A tripod is ideal for this, but any stable object and surface will work great. We do not recommend recording handheld, as any movement in the device in your hand will affect your velocity data as well. A lot of edge cases that Metric is able to handle is thanks to user feedback, reporting weird results or buggy performance directly in the app. If you ever get unexpected results or no results, it'd be really great if you could report these directly to us. We're always looking to optimize and refine the app. You'll find the option on the set review page. Whether you record directly in metric or import existing footage, all the framing guidelines we've just covered will apply to your videos. For imported videos, there are just a few extra technical details to keep in mind. Stick to the standard video mode that your device offers. Things like cinematic, time-lapse, or slow motion recording, they won't work and won't deliver accurate results. For optimal results, record in HD and use the 60 frames per second or FPS setting in your phone too. This matches Metric's in-app settings and ensures accurate data. You can use 4K videos, they will work. However, they significantly increase the processing time. So HD is your best choice. It gives a balance of accuracy, but also good resolution. Let's recap. 
In this video, we cover the basics you need to start recording accurate training data in your workouts with the Metric app. Metric is built on a specialized form of computer vision designed to automatically track barbells in the videos you record right on your smartphone. All you need is a barbell or trap bar with circular weight plates of a known size. Always record from the side, shoot your videos to keep the barbell inside the frame for the full recording and keep your device stable. If you're importing footage, stick to standard HT video settings and record at 60 frames per second. It's just better that way. Now be sure to subscribe for more helpful tips on using metric in your workouts and other ways you can practically use your newfound velocity, tempo and power data to make your training programs the best they've ever been. If you haven't already, you should check out our full metric academy, our free online course at all things barbell tracking and technology use in the gym. Links in the description, you'll find it on our website.